way, this out, it, the subtlety that you're trying to express doesn't really help Judaism at all, because people are not going to know all Judaism the people. What do you mean? I'm talking about the people in the public through your social media, specifically not non-Jewish people, and specifically people who are looking at you to uh, to basically either learn or rattle rattle you know rattle things up or to, you know be against you or with you most people are unresearched in the subtleties of the history of zionism and its relation to judaism so now we're being bunched up so it yeah, doesn't matter how many definitions of zionism meaning, to what extent there should we whitewash meaning for the sake of the bigger cause because it's being whitewashed uh, in some way trying to infuse Judaism as being Zionistic at its core, which is the average social media guy who supports Israel will try to say, oh, my claim to the land is an indigenous one, which is the whole indigenous claim is not a religious claim. It's a left wing claim that religious people just stay quiet. And then what ends up happening is that religious Jews end up dying for the sins of the irreligious because they've stayed quiet for so long. I get it. You can be a Zionist and be fully religious and fully Jewish. That doesn't mean that Judaism endorses Zionism. That's you're, you're not who who do you need to say this for? It doesn't doesn't help anyone. I mean, in them. other words, people are looking at you and they're they're saying, "Oh, is this guy a Zionist or not?" You say, "I'm not a Zionist." You're paired up with pro-Palestinian people. You say, "I am a Zionist," then it just means that you want to protect the people in the land of Israel and that Israel shouldn't be dismantled. No one looks. No one looks at. Zionism for its relationship to Judaism right now anyway. So you don't help any unless you want to really get into a the person's ready to listen to a full conversation. I mean, in general, I'm not sure I agree with you. I mean, the well, there's no sign that says that I'm anti Zionist here, by the way, I try to make a distinction. The problem is, if people ultimately made a distinction, then Jews on TikTok wouldn't get so offended, because they don't make a distinction. I get it colloquially. Or you call yourself a person who doesn't support Zionists, you're going to get lumped in with the left and even the Torah Karta. However, why is it that, that Jews on TikTok also don't make a distinction? The average Jew on TikTok says Judaism is an ethno religion, right? We have an indigenous claim to the land when they don't even believe in God. They're the ones peddling the misinformation. So if you're saying that, yes, they know what you're saying, but for sake of argument, they also just identify as Zionists is one thing, but that's not what they're doing. They're confused. We're confusing other Jews to think that there's no distinction between the two. Again, the 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 bringing out these subtle facts and ideas is something that is such a niche argument for like scholarly people that the way that a person should present themselves is it's just it's just it's just the reality of what it is today that if you yeah, say you're a Zionist, you, it, it's, I just don't understand who the argument is for. Like even this chat right here, there's 50 people, whatever, listening. Like, how many of them are gonna understand? Uh, you know why the early Hasidim were against the Zionism. Plus Zionism, plus the Ju the land of Israel as a state has evolved and has become much more religious. And the people who just believe in the state have actually fizzled out much more e even in the knesset and all the all the governmental things there's so much more religious influence i mean it's a it's I a very it's evolved a matter but this is a religious show and i think it's the only purely orthodox religious show on TikTok. so if even in the religious show we have to peddle misinformation just because of the political movement that's the signs that zionism is affecting judaism why can't you have a show just stating the facts as they actually are without having to reword every statement to coincide with the Zionist argument? Yeah, I mean, I would actually take it the, uh, the opposite way, that most people don't have to reword anything because they actually are staying true to the, to the sect or the side or the poll that they're on. You because you want to relay information and create some scholarship around this idea with its nuances. So you have to re reinform and reshape, but this would be an exceptional thing. I mean, I agree with you. There's what, what you're, what you're speaking about is a very classic, um, you know, ar argument within 
basically orthodox religious circles as to how integrated does does stateship uh, have to be with Judaism, and that's that's an argument again. That's not necessarily are you the right? There's a, the, there's a lot of opinions on it, but it's such a again, it's such a niche, subtle okay. argument that's it's kind of for you to be like, hey guys, I'm actually going to tell you what's really going on with Zionism from a Jewish Orthodox perspective. But for the general people who are either supporting or not supporting on TikTok and spreading their word, like, yeah, you, you don't have to get too deep into it. Like you're either somebody who's for Israel right now, which essentially has to do with your life and Judaism because of how threatening it is, or you're anti. It's just pretty, got to keep it pretty simple, I think. So the secularists don't offer us that courtesy. You would assume that it's better for me not to blur the lines or to cross over. They cross over day and night. They will use Judaism to promote Zion.